Welcome to a night of total terror. In 1968, George Romero brought us Night of the Living Dead. It became the classic horror film of its time. We must not be lulled by the concept that these are our family members or our friends. They are not. They will not respond to such emotion. Now, George Romero brings us the most intensely shocking motion picture experience for all time. It gets up and kills. The people it kills get up and kill. When there is no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. First came the night, then came the dawn. Now comes the most eagerly awaited day in horror film history. Welcome back to Thursday of the Dead, episode 242. My name is Jace. You know the old cliche of, oh, I'm just reading it for the articles? That's kind of the case in point here, because I collect magazines with old interviews with George Romero. This one happens to be a particularly good one, even if the magazine is not so great. And so I'm trying to find a way to showcase his interview without exposing too much, no pun intended. Um, This interview took place May of 1986, and they mentioned that it's at his downtown office in Pittsburgh, which would be uh, 247 Fort Pitt, which I got to visit in my first trip to Pittsburgh last year for Living Dead Weekend. Uh, It also talks about how he and Richard Rubenstein met and he mentions in this article that he had just left Laurel Entertainment the day before this interview took place which is pretty interesting considering what happened with the dissolution of their partnership I don't know the particulars about it and George doesn't go into it here but he mentions that he's no longer part of Laurel and whatever future film project he works on probably won't be Laurel and he does mention Pet Cemetery couple times in this, which of course never came to be with George. Uh, I think Laurel still put out Pet Cemetery or had some involvement in that, so maybe that's why. Uh, Also, I think what's funny here is the pictorial next to George's articles from a woman named Dawn. You know, my own sense of humor, it's like, hey, Dawn. Just weird coincidence. So here I'm trying to keep this as family friendly as possible without exposing too much Uh, the other thing is George talks about wanting to do a Tarzan movie in here basically saying how he didn't want to just do horror movies in particular and uh, there's a nice quote from Stephen King talking about how you have to be a little kid at heart that George confirms And he talks a bit about the X rating. He goes on a bit of a rant about how he doesn't like the X rating. I don't blame him. Just funny to have that rant in this magazine of all things. But a very good interview. I recommend it for collectors of George Romero. And then you could find out how to find a faithful Oriental bride through the mail. And all kinds of fascinating things. And then finally, of course... Cool menthol cigarettes. Very 1980s. Well, I hope you weren't offended by what I have exposed in this interview or this magazine. Thanks for watching. See you next week.